Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to another trapezoidal rule lesson. And today we're going to mix a problem that also involves using the scale factor with the trapezoidal rule. So it gives you guys a bit more complexity. So here is a shape and it doesn't matter what the shape represents i have said in this case that this is a map of a park and you can see that the length of the park is a hundred meters so it's provided to you guys and we want to use the rule to find the area of the park but before we do that okay before we apply the trapezoidal rule what you need to do is to find the scale factor used to draw this map because without the scale factor we cannot measure any other lengths we can only measure uh, we can only use the length that's provided to us to find the area which is not enough so we need to find the scale factor so how you find the scale factor is when you um, think of a scale factor problem the first thing you do is you always write down plan length to field length plan length to field length okay plan length to field length and then you recognize that on this map this measurement is a field length it is the real life length of this map so you write a hundred meters over here and then the plan length we have no idea what it is so we need to measure it with a ruler so let's bring out my awesome ruler and we measure it to be about 12.2 centimeters oops 12.2 centimeters so 12.2 centimeters is to 100 meters in real life so what is the scale factor so then what you need to do is firstly i want both sides to have the same units so i'm going to put 12.2 centimeters to a hundred uh, so what's a hundred meters in centimeters to turn that into centimeters you would multiply that by a hundred so you have a hundred add two zeros centimeters because one meter is a hundred centimeters so to go from meters to centimeters you would multiply it by a hundred so then you write a hundred or to be exact 10,000 centimeters now both sides now have the same units which means you don't have to write the units anymore so let's cross that out it's just 12.2 to 10,000 so 12.2 units on your map however long a unit is 12.2 centimeters on your map is 10,000 centimeters in real life but we want the left hand side to be one to make it simpler so let's divide both sides by 12.2 so then you end up with 12.2 divided by 12.2 is one and 10,000 divided by 12.2 is 800 and 19.67 so what does that mean that means one unit on this map is 819 units in real life if you want a unit to be in centimeters then one centimeter on this map is 819 centimeters on real life but it works with whatever unit a real life length is 819 times the length of the map okay so um how will we use that so now we can um now that we have the scale factor we can now break up the shape into trapeziums and you can see in the question it says use five segments 
So how will we divide up 100 meters into five segments? We just go um, 100 divided by five is 20 meters. But actually we don't need to do that because we already measured that the survey line is 12.2 centimeters. So we can just go straight away 12.2 divided by five. And that'll give us 2.44 centimeters. So what that means is when we measure the map with the ruler, if we measure it with the ruler, every 2.44 centimeters marks where we need to draw another segment. So let's do that now. 2.44 centimeters about here draw a segment another 2.44 centimeters draw another segment and so on so I need to move a ruler again 2.44 another 2.44 okay another 2.44 Okay, so now that's about five segments. Each segment, we're going to draw a vertical line down and we need to measure the length of each segment. So let's draw the vertical lines and let's find the length of each segment using a ruler. Oops. So let's get our ruler. So we have about 4.4 and then I'm going to move this over here and I have about 5.7 move it over here I have about 6 move it over here I have about 5 and don't forget you actually need to measure the end lines as well so I'm just going to go back and draw a couple of lines on the ends. So I need to draw a line over here on the end. And I need to draw a line over here on the end. Okay, I'm going to measure these lines. Um, let's move the ruler again to measure them. So I have about 1.8 centimeters and 1 centimeter. So let's write those measurements in. So you can see here each line now has a label, but these labels are all in centimeters because we just measure them with the ruler. So they're all in centimeters right now, which is not very helpful because we want the real life length. So how do we get them to meters? We then need to multiply each of these lengths by the scale factor. So real life field lengths. We have 0 0.8 times 819.67 4.4 times 819.67 you have to do this to every single length so 5.7 times 6 times 5 times 1 times well I know the answer to that one because 1 times anything is the same thing again but the other ones you have to just multiply by 819.67 and see what the answer is so that's 655-3606.548. Okay, so now I have found the real life lengths of each of these lines. But these are still in centimeters right now because that is the unit that I used 
to measure on paper. So we know, for example, the first one is 0.8 centimeters on paper, which is 655 centimeters in real life. But what we're trying to do is find the area in meters because we have the survey line here measured in meters. So how will we convert this to meters? Well, we just divide it by 100. Because if you guys remember here, to go from centimeters to meters, you do the reverse. So that's divided by 100. And if we want to do that to these numbers, we can just move the decimal point to the left two places. So this is 6.55. And I'm just going to round all of these numbers. You shouldn't be rounding, but... Um, Actually, yeah, you shouldn't be rounding until the end. So I'm just going to write all the numbers in meters. So that's 36.06548 meters. It's probably too many decimals, but as long as it works. So that's 46.72119 meters. 49.1802 meters, 40.9835 meters, and 81, uh, sorry, 8.1967 meters. So these measurements are all in meters now, which matches the survey line that we have. Okay, and now all we need to do is put these numbers into the formula. So what is the formula for trapezoidal rule? The formula is area equals W divided by 2 times H0 plus 2H1 plus 2H2 plus 2H3 dot 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 plus h n okay so what does this mean well w is simply the width of one segment and as we've say, said earlier one segment is 100 meters divided by 5 which is 20 meters so that's going to be width is 20 h0 is simply the length of the first end length and that is 0 0.8 centimeters but the real life length is 6.55 plus two times all the length in the middle other than the last one, H1, H2, H3, each one has to be multiplied by 2. And these are the lengths in the middle, so they are these lengths. The field lengths, which is um, these ones here. We're going to multiply each one by 2, so that's 2 times 36.06548 plus 46.7. 49 plus 40 okay and then plus hn does not have a times 2 so it's just this one over here plus 8.1967 and let's put all that into the calculator and that will give you the area of this um, of this park in meters squared so let's type all that into the calculator so let's try put it in we got 20 divided by 2 times 6.55736 plus 2 times uh, bracket 36.06548 plus 46.72119 plus 49.1802 plus 40.9835 uh, plus 
0.1967 put all that in brackets press equals and you can see the final answer is 3606.548 meters squared and how will we know that this is approximately correct 3606 seems pretty big but if you have a look if this side is really a hundred meters so let me just use a different pen if this side is really a hundred meters okay that side is a hundred meters and then let's say this side let's make a small rectangle well if that side's a hundred this side is very close to a hundred uh, well probably half of it so let's say that's 50 then a rectangle about this size right would be a hundred times 50 which is 5,000 but it's not that big because we cut out all this stuff okay so then it is about 3,600 so it sounds about right Okay, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.